and we start off just simply inhaling slowly as we turn the head to one side exhale to the front inhale turning the head as far as you can to the other side and exhale to the front and remember nice and slowly in Qigong just being aware of the feeling of the stretch and then making the horizontal stretch by bringing the hands together in front and then as we inhale watch the left hand come back bring the shoulder blades together bring the spine forward so that you're flexing the spine and you're breathing deeply filling the lungs inhale and exhale and same again inhaling watching the left exhaling to the front inhaling to the right and exhaling and then we do the vertical stretching so we inhale again we watch the left hand first and the reason for I was asked recently why is it always to the left first and to the right second exhaling down again watching the right why is it always to the and the reason is that in Qigong they see the east connected to the left and the right and the west going together and of course the sun rises in the east so it comes first with the left with the east so we're watching the left hand rise up for the second time as we inhale and exhale watching the right hand come down and then we take a wider stance for the rotational breathing so we cross the wrists left wrist in front inhale both hands up and exhale watching the left hand come down crossing the wrists, inhaling right wrist in front, exhaling watching the right hand come down. And again, once more each side. And this time, as we exhale and watch the right hand come down, we're working the hands down to the small of the back. So we place them just over the kidneys on the small of the back, and then we inhale the hands as high up the back as we can. And then bring it under the armpits. We have the elbows high so that we are appreciating the tension that produces around the neck. We notice that, and then we exhale and let it go bringing the hands down and three more times inhale as high up the back as you can bring the elbows high feel the tension around the neck and release it with a nice long slow exhale inhale up you can see why this exercise is called angel wings because I look so angelic doing it that's why what are you laughing at <laughs> inhale last time and exhale down and then we bring the hand to the small of the back right hand to the small of the back palm facing outwards we inhale watching the left hand come up always slow and steady twisting towards the top palm towards the ceiling nice stretch without overdoing it we don't need to strain exhaling down and we bring the left hand above the right hand and then inhale bringing the right hand up watching it rotating it palm towards the ceiling nice stretch without locking any of the uh, joints in particular I was thinking there of the elbow above the left hand so that hands are slowly getting higher up the back inhaling up 
twisting the left palm to the ceiling, exhale down. Above the right, and then inhaling the right hand up. Palm towards the ceiling, nice stretch, exhaling, watching it come down. And then we're ready for the next set of six. which are to do with the spine in particular the emphasis is on the upper back so we start with the feet together interlink the fingers at the low abdomen and then inhale as we bring the hands up we rotate the palms as they pass the face palms up towards the ceiling then we exhale to one side again without straining just a nice stretch and inhale back up again and then exhale to the same side a second time. This time maybe noticing that we can go a little bit farther without trying to force it. Inhale back up. And exhale, relaxing the whole body as we breathe out. Interlink the fingers at the low abdomen and inhale up. Rotate past the face. Palms to the ceiling and then exhale to the other side. Inhale back up. Exhale to that side again. Inhale back up. And exhale again, relaxing the whole body as we bring the hands down. And that then brings us to our teapot. So for the teapot exercise, we have the fists at the waist. Remember that the elbows are jutting out behind us so as to produce that nice stretch across the chest and then inhale and as you exhale push the left palm forwards and twist and look over your right shoulder behind you as you inhale spiral the hand around bring it back into a fist at the waist and then exhale pushing the right palm forwards looking to the left and behind you spiral the hand around working the fingers and the wrists and then the same on the other side. Spiral the hand round, pull it back. Last one. Okay. And then lower spine and hip joints by circling the hips four times in one direction and then four times in the opposite direction. And then we come to the swoop. So we want a nice wide stance for the swoop. Cross the wrists in front, left wrist in front, as we did with the rotational breathing. And then we inhale, both hands up. Exhale, watching the left hand come down as far as shoulder level. And there we stop. We inhale as we rotate. And then we exhale, folding forwards, bringing the right wrist in front. Crossing the wrist, inhale, arms, head, Torso coming up together and then exhale, watching the right hand come down to shoulder level. Inhale and rotate. Exhale, folding forwards, left wrist coming in front. Just turn sideways to give you a sideways view of what's going on. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, watching the left hand come down. Inhale and rotate. Exhale, folding forwards. Right wrist in front. Arms, head and torso coming up as we inhale. Exhale, watching the right hand come down to shoulder level. Inhale and rotate. Exhale, folding forwards for the last time. Left wrist in front. And inhaling up. 
And then we keep the nice wide stance for the first of our lunges. So fists to the waist as we did before, turn the left foot out to the left and twist to the left. Transfer your weight forwards onto that left leg as you exhale and stretch out your right hand as if you're going to shake hands with someone. And then spiral the hand around, back into a fist, back to your waist. Turn the right foot out. See if you can flow to the other side. Spiral the hand around. Try not to stop in the middle. Try and make it a just nice steady flow from one side to the other. Spiral the hand round, pull it back. Right foot turning out to the right side. Spiral the hand round and pull it back. Like that one, I could do the lunge for ages. Right, the next one now is a forward bend for the spine. So I'll turn sideways on so you can see what's happening with that. Interlink the fingers at the low abdomen. Inhale up. Rotate the hands as they pass the face, just like we did with the lateral stretch for the spine. And then as we exhale, we fold forwards and we only come as low as feels right for you. And then bend your knees, relax your whole body as you come back up again, nice and slowly. Inhale up, rotate past the face, palms to the ceiling, exhale, folding forwards. Bend the knees, relax, roll up. Twice more, inhale up, palms to the ceiling, exhale, folding forwards. And just noticing, is it getting easier? Do you find, without straining, do you find that you can just stoop that little bit further each time, that little bit easier, the muscles are relaxing, the hamstrings, the muscles of the back, are all relaxing and allowing that extra little bit of flexibility and suppleness. Okay, now the next six are to do with the lower back and the legs. So the first thing is looking after the knees and we protect the knees with our hands and then we make four little circles. Remember they only have to be little circles. Four little circles in one direction and then four little circles in the opposite direction. Okay, that brings us to the second of our lunges. So again, we want a nice wide stance. Again, we want the fists at the waist. Soft fists, it's not um, a fierce grip that we want. Just nice relaxed fists. And then we bend the left knee and twist to the right. Inhale up, bend the right knee and twist to the left. Inhale up, once more to each side. Okay, and then we come to the squats. If you have problems with your knees, you might not want to do this. In any event, remember to protect your knees with your hands as you go down, to come up slowly and to breathe steadily throughout. Okay, and not to come up quickly, that was the other point. You don't want to come up quickly or you might feel that you're just getting a bit dizzy. So inhale, and then on the exhale, slide your hands down your thighs to your knees and then just protect your knees with your hands. Touch your toes and then inhale as you straighten the legs. You might want to just loosen the muscles of the back a bit and then bend the knees and as I say, come up slowly. And three more times, nice and steadily, exhaling down, protecting the knees. Touching the toes, inhaling and 
straightening the legs and then bend the knees, relax, roll up. Exhale down. And the last one. Okay, that brings us to <coughs> the rodeo, the rodeo one. So for that, again, we have the fists at the waist and we inhale as we take the right hand round in a big arc to the left knee. And then we exhale, leaning forwards and just relaxing the left hand towards the floor. Exhale, as you come into that semi-squat, with the palm up towards the ceiling. That's why I call it the rodeo, like a rodeo rider. And then inhale as you bring the left hand to the right knee and relax the right hand to the floor. I'll just turn sideways on. So then exhale, coming into that semi-squat again. Inhale, right hand to the left knee, left hand is released. And then the left palm up towards the ceiling. Inhale the left hand to the right knee, relaxing the right palm. And exhale the right palm towards the ceiling. Okay. Now the next exercises are to do with the lower legs and to the feet in particular. And as I'm always saying, healthy feet with good joints there means there's less likely to be problems with the knees and therefore less likely to have problems with the hips and the lower back. So this one also helps with our balance, the knee hooks. So we can start with the hands at the waist as fists or just loose at the waist. Inhale, exhale as you step forward on your left heel. Inhale and transfer the weight forward, stretching up. Exhale, bringing the hands round to the sides and then hugging the right knee. Inhale, stretching up, bringing the right foot back. Exhale, transferring the weight back. Inhale, bringing the left foot back. Exhale, the right heel forwards. Inhale and stretch. Exhale and hug. Inhale and stretch. Exhale, transferring the weight back. Inhale, bringing the right foot back. And then we just repeat. So exhale, the left heel forwards. Inhale and stretch. Exhale and hug. Inhale and stretch. Exhale, transferring the weight back. Inhale, bringing the left foot back. Last one. Exhale the right heel forwards, inhale and stretch, exhale and hug, inhale and stretch, exhale transferring the weight back, inhale bringing the right foot back. Then the slow walking. So remember that the main point of this exercise is to get the joints in the feet nicely flexed. So two options the first one is exhaling the left foot forwards and rocking up and back on it twice so inhale up exhale back lifting the toes exhale up exhale the right heel forwards twice up on that inhale up exhale back and then step back with the right foot step back with the left foot do the same starting with the right foot so it's like rocking up twice on both feet. The other one that I'll do this morning is the heel to toe. And we can start with the hands on the waist or the hands as fists at the waist, whichever you like. And then we lift the right heel and roll down from the heel onto the rest of the foot. 
we'll left, lift the left heel so that we're working the joints there and then roll from the heel down. Lift the heel, place the heel down first. Lift the heel, place the heel down first. So our mind is involved on rolling the feet. As we go back, remember, we lift the toes and then roll the foot down from the toes. So the toes go to the heel first and then roll down. Now the second time, our focus isn't so much on the feet as in coordinating with the hands. So remember, as your left foot goes forwards, your right hand goes forwards. So I'm going to put, start with my left foot and my right hand. I'm not going to keep telling you what I'm doing because it'll just distract from you. Working at your own pace, I'm starting off left foot and right hand, right foot and left hand. And then going backwards again. Coordinate the movement. <coughs> and that is really good, not just for the feet, but that coordination is really good for the neuroplasticity of the brain. And the third time, we just cross the wrists at the heart. And then again, we're more able to focus on rolling the feet. Remember, heel goes down first. So we're bending at the toes. We're keeping those joints nice and supple. And then going back again, placing the toes down first. I remember the first time I was doing these walking exercises, I didn't really appreciate the importance or the value of working all those little joints in the feet. Okay, the next one now is the horse push. So we want a wide stance again. Fists start at the waist and we inhale. On the exhale we come into a semi squat and we push the palms out with the thumbs down. We then rotate and pull back. And three more times. Exhale and inhale. You don't have to go too far. Remember it's just a semi squat. And the further you go, the more pressure you're putting onto the knees. So, last one. And now we are moving into working with the arms as well as the legs. So, this next one is where we twist and squat. So, if you're not comfortable, if you have problems with the ankles, knees or hips, you may want to miss this one out. Otherwise, make sure you've got enough room between your feet so that when you twist, you can tuck one thigh under the other and push the right hand out to the left. Okay, so we inhale into the move. So inhale and twist. Exhale, coming into that squat, looking behind you, pushing out the right palm and then swirl it round back into a fist and inhale to the front and exhale to the front inhale to the right exhale and squat inhale coming up exhale to the front and again inhale to the left exhale into your squat inhale coming up 
exhale to the front, inhale to the right, exhale into your squat, inhale coming up, exhale to the front. Right, the next one then is the one where we're reaching up and we're going into a sort of twisting, standing forward fold. So, or a standing twisted fold. So, we inhale the right hand up and then we exhale, bringing the hand down just an inch or so above the crown of the head and then all the way down the left side we're exhaling around the feet and inhale bringing the hand up the right side to the hip exhale inhale the left hand up exhale as we twist and bring the hand down over the crown of the head and then all the way down the right side around the feet inhale up and once more to each side And then we take a wide stance for the third of the lunges, one of my favourites. So remember that you're turning that left foot out, you're pushing the right palm high to the left as you look behind you. So you're getting a lovely stretch from the heel of the right foot to the heel of the palm of the hand pushing up there. But you're not overdoing the strain. And also, Try and remember to flow from one side to the other. So you're getting that nice continuous movement. So inhale, exhale, turning the left foot out, pushing the right palm high and looking behind you. And then inhale, pulling the hand back, turn the right foot out, exhale, pushing the left palm high. And inhale, pulling it back. Exhale. and inhale exhale and inhale and then we come to a bit more practice with our balancing so we have the fists at or on the waist and then we inhale as we kick slowly across from the left to the right and exhale back again and then we inhale, kicking from the right across to the left, and exhale back. Once more for each side. And then the exercise known as foot juggling, where we bring the ankle up on the inside, the left ankle, and down, and the right ankle up, the left ankle to the outside and the right ankle to the outside the left foot straight ahead and the right foot straight ahead the left foot out behind us and the right foot out behind us And then that brings us to the three directional push. So for that we start off by inhaling both hands up, exhaling watching the left hand come down and round behind us and rotating to the waist. And then we inhale twisting to the left 
and we push the right palm out in front and the left palm out behind us. And then exhale, coming to the front again. Inhale, twisting to the right, pushing the palms out. Exhale to the front. Inhale, pushing the palms out to each side. And exhale. And then we do exactly the same, but we turn to the right first. So inhale the hands up. Exhale, watching the right hand come down. Round behind us and back to the waist. And then inhale as we twist to the right, pushing the palms out and exhaling back. Inhale, twisting to the left and exhale back. And then inhale, pushing out to both sides and exhale back. Then we come to another of my favourites, the archer. So for the arch here, remember, we're going to step out to one side and then step out to the other. We start with the wrists crossed, so the left wrist in front, and we inhale as we step out to the left. We exhale as we come into a semi-squat, left wrist in front, and then we push the left palm out and pull the right bowstring back with the fist. Inhale up. And exhale, right wrist in front. Inhale, stepping out to the right. Exhale, bringing the wrists down, right wrist in front, push out the right palm, pull back the left fist. Inhale, stretching up. Exhale, bringing the wrists down, left wrist in front. Inhale, stepping out to the left. Exhale into that semi-squat, then push the bow out with the left hand, pull the bowstring back with the right, inhale, stretching up. Exhale, bring the wrist down for the last one, right wrist in front, inhale, stepping out to the right. Exhale into that semi-squat, push out the right bow, pull back the bowstring with the left. Inhale, stretching up. Exhaling the hands down to finish. And then we go into the sequence that's really good for the hands and the wrists. So, just inhale both hands up. And then as we get to the top, we turn the hands into fists. And we remember to pull the fists at right angles to the forearm. So you can see how I am really working the forearm muscles to pull those round. And then we will exhale, watching the left hand come down. Behind us, rotate round and back to the waist. Open the hands, inhale up. Into fists and exhale, bringing the hand down again, 90 degrees. Rotating around behind us and back to the waist. And once more for each side, inhaling up. Exhaling, watching the left. Inhaling up. Into fists and exhaling, watching the right. And then we do exactly the same, but we reverse it. So we open the hands and we inhale, watching the left hand come out to the side. And then as they get to the top, we turn them into fists and we aim to bring the fists back to back without touching as we exhale down. So that again, we're working the wrist joints. Inhale, watching the right hand come up into fists, exhaling down. Once more for each side, inhale, watching the left, into fists, exhaling down, inhale, watching the right, 
into fists, exhaling, watching them come down, and back to the waist, ready for the next exercise, which involves pushing the left palm high while the right fist goes low. And we don't twist the body at all, remember, you just twist at the neck to look at the fist that's going behind you. And then you exhale back. So, inhale the left palm forwards, look at the right fist. Swirl the hand round and pull it back. Inhale the right palm forward, looking at the fist, and exhale back. And once more for each side. And then we come into the horse punch. So horse pose, nice and wide, fists at the waist, inhale, and then exhale into the semi-squat, coming forward with the left fist. Open the hand, swirl it round, pull it back. Exhale, pushing the right fist forward, open it out, inhale as you pull it back and stand up again. Once more for each side. Exhale, and inhale. Exhale, and inhale. And then that brings us to our spiraling of the spine. So we bring the hands up to shoulder level and inhale. As you exhale, twist to your left, bringing your right hand to your left shoulder and wrapping your left hand around the waist. Inhale to the front again. Exhale, twisting to the right, left hand on the right shoulder, right hand around the waist. And inhale to the front. Once more to each side. We start off with the index fingers at the edges of the lips. Remember these are stimulating the acupuncture or acupressure points. So we just massage there briefly and then just at the edges of the nostrils. So this is stimulating the flow of life energy, chi, in yoga, we call it prana, halfway up the nose. Top of the nose, start of the eyebrows. Center of the eyebrows. Edge of the eyebrows. And then we're going to massage the scalp by placing the fingertips so that they touch across the crown of the head and the thumbs are down by the earlobes. And we just draw the fingers out to the sides, place them back a little bit further back and continue to massage a little bit further back each time. The thumbs working its way up the front of the ears. And then as we get to the back of the head, we can feel the base of the skull. And just underneath that, there are two hollow areas. So we massage with two fingers into those areas. And then the next one, and this remember is an exercise that you can do if ever you're feeling uptight. You can adjust your breathing and you can take the thumb into that fleshy bit between the base of the first finger 
and the, the, the thumb and we wiggle the other thumb around in that little area there and the same on the other side and they're not part of the original therapeutic Qigong but something I've added is that we have the lymph nodes here and it's good at this point to stimulate the flow of lymph so if we just massage there that's helping the lymph to circulate so it's good for the immune system and the same on the other side then we turn our attention to massaging the digestive system and the organs of the abdomen so we find that point just at the base of the breastbone where the ribs are coming out we interlink the fingers and we make four little circles there and you don't have to push hard And then you do four big circles, taking in the whole of the abdomen. And then four big circles in the opposite direction. And then four little circles back where we started, but of course we're doing it in the opposite direction this time. And then we come back to the scalp and the back of the neck. So this time we take the fingers to the forehead and we draw the fingers back over the top of the head. Now I'm doing this with my right hand, so I'm turning my head to the left so that when I then massage the back of the neck the trapezius muscle which has been brought to the front by or has been made more prominent by turning the head it's getting a really good massage there but also right at the back of the neck where you can feel your um, spinal column there the, the base of the cervical part of the neck and then the same on the other side turning to look to the right as you pull the left hand across down the back and then massaging the back of the neck and in particular there that right trapezius muscle <coughs> and then we want to massage the temple so we take the first two fingers of each hand and just massage the temples there And that brings us to another of my favourites, the stork spreading its wings. So, remember this is the one where the left hand and right knee come up as you inhale. And you bring your right palm down and then you swap over right palm and left knee and the left palm goes down. Twice to each side. So, inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale and sideways on, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. And then we've got the four directional movements. So we start with the fists by the waist again. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale, watching the left hand come down. And we're aiming for the small of the back again. Hands onto the kidneys. And then inhale and twist to the left. Exhale to the front. Inhale and twist to the right. Exhale to the front. Inhale into a back bend. Exhale into a forward bend. You can bend your knees if you want. 
inhale all the way up and into another gentle back bend and then the same again but turning to the right first so inhale both hands up exhale watching the right hand come down hands onto the small of the back inhale and twist to the right exhale to the front inhale and twist to the left Exhale to the front. Inhale, gentle back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, all the way up. Gentle back bend. And we're ready for the last exercise. So I like a slightly wider stance for this. And then we have the wrists crossed at the front. And we inhale both hands up. We're getting a gentle back bend. We're filling the lungs. We're sucking in as much air as we can, as much life energy. And then we're exhaling, bringing the hands down nice and slowly, pulling the stomach in, getting rid of all the stale air. And three times more. Inhale and fill the lungs. Exhale and empty them. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. And then we inhale the hands out to the sides. We bring the right fist into the left palm and smile. 